Hi guys, it's Sam. So today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I basically just got like a few new products that I wanted to test out and I figured I would just show it to you and actually um, do a voiceover this time. I've got my shoulders out, I put a highlighter on my collarbones, um, and I just really love how this look turned out. So let's get started. So first I've already got my moisturizer on and I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and my S. Elemis Glim Beauty Sponge. And I'm basically just putting this all over my entire face. It looks way darker for me because obviously I'm matching it to my body and not my face. So just make sure that if you are going to be doing that, if your face is lighter than your body, bring it down your neck so that you don't have that line, um, you know, where your face is dark and then you have a white neck and then you have an orange, or not orange, but tan body. So next I'm going to take my Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline. I still love this stuff. I really think I need to try that Tarte Shape Tape because I know everyone's using it, but then sometimes I feel like everyone uses certain things and I'm like, oh, but it still doesn't work on me. So I'm still sticking with my Maybelline. We'll see. I might try this Shape Tape one day. And I'm basically just blending this out with that same Beauty Blender from SL Miss Glam and making sure that everything is all blended and make sure that you get really good around the nose crack because I feel like that's a tricky spot. Next, I'm taking my NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder, and I'm basically putting it everywhere where I have wrinkles and pores. But you can see, guys, my forehead is looking a lot smoother because I've been using that La Prairie Cream, and I feel like it is actually making a huge difference on my forehead for sure. Um, and I even got complimented on my complexion the other day at Ernie's. A, an older lady said, your complexion is so beautiful. And I was like, what? Someone com complimenting me on my complexion? What is this like? This is so weird, but I was excited, so I think it's working, guys. Then I'm taking my white powder from Ben Nye. I just put this underneath my um, under eye to make sure it's nice and bright under there, and just make sure that you buff it in with like a nice small brush like that, because then it really like sifts into the skin versus looking like white powder underneath your eyes. Next, I'm taking my Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Powder, and I'm just basically blending out the white powder and then just setting the rest of my foundation with that. And it just gives you a tiny weeny bit of extra coverage. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and I'm just contouring in all the places that I would normally contour. So my cheeks, my forehead, and then I go to my jaw and all that good stuff, guys. Man, I feel like when you're doing a voiceover, it actually seems so much longer, but yet I'm talking so much less than I normally would in a video. It's really weird. But yeah, just keep on, you know, keep on going. My brush is Morphe and make sure you get that jawline. And again, if you have a white neck and a tan body, then just make sure that you're blending everything down your neck so that you don't have any weird, like, white slash tan marks on yourself. So, next we're moving on to blush. This is the Kylie blush. And I already did the video of this where I was kind of like telling you guys exactly what my thoughts were on it. It is a matte blush, but it's very matte, guys, as you can tell in the video. It kind of is just like a little powdery, but I'll link the review down below so that you guys can check it out and um, see for yourself with the swatches. Then I moved on to a deeper shade because I was like, dang, that looks powdery. And that was a little bit better. It gave me a little bit more color, but I don't know. It's still just one of my favorite products in the entire universe. Then I baked with my NARS, and then on the other side, the same thing. The NARS is really nice. If you are taking pictures, I wouldn't recommend it because it does cause flashback. Just for everyday use, it kind of smooths everything out, out under there and makes it look really silky. Next, I'm taking this new highlighter from Estee Edit. It is so beautiful. I love it. It's kind of a peachy tone, so if you are very fair, it might be a little bit dark for you. But if you've got a bit of a tan going on, I think that you would really love it because it really is pretty. It gives you a really nice kind of like summery glow. It's really beautiful. You can see how like well it goes into the skin. It's a very, very nice highlight and I think the texture of it is really good as well. So I definitely recommend that one for sure. And I'm basically putting that up above my eyebrows, the normal highlight area, and then my cupid's bow and down the nose as well. So moving on. Are we moving on yet? Not yet. I'm kidding. Oh, there we go. Now we're going on to the brows. This is the benefit um, goof proof. I'm just using it as the actual brush because I'm trying out a new Makeup Forever pencil that they just came out with for their brows, but it doesn't have a spoolie, which is kind of a pain in the booty because I love a good spoolie because my eyebrows are kind of crazy. So um, I'm using the third darkest one. I'll have to, I'll leave all the shades down below guys because I don't have it with me right now. 
Um, this one is a little warm actually, but then the one below it was too ashy and almost like nothing for my brows. So I ended up making it work by using their brow gel, which kind of added a little bit of blonde highlights into my brows, as you can tell right here. They kind of just made it blend a little bit better. But I actually have been using these and I actually am enjoying the, um, the two mixed together. Okay, so now we're taking the Heavy Hitter ColourPop eyeshadow palette. These are the pressed powders. This is new for spring, and I'm taking the lightest one, which is like a matte kind of cream shade, which is, is nice, but I love shimmer, guys, so for me it was just kind of like not enough. So I took the Natural Love from Too Faced, and I used the color Koodle, which is my absolute favorite brow bone highlight. I also use this in my tear duct as well because it just gives such a nice like brightness to the eye, and I pretty much use it all the time. Next, I'm taking that third shade. Again, they didn't... They don't um, name the actual shadows, so I don't know what they're called, so I just say the third shade over. But it's kind of like a really pretty kind of warm orangey tan, but it has little gold sparkles in it. Next, I'm taking that deeper color in the palette. This is like a really pretty deep kind of reddish brown. It's absolutely beautiful. You guys know I love these shades. Um, and I'm basically just putting that all over my lid and then blending it up to the crease color um, just so that it's deepest by the lashes. Then I'm taking this shimmery shade, and this is really shimmery. It's got a really gorgeous like sheen to it. It's almost kind of metallic, so I use my finger with it because I feel like that just gives you the most payoff. And then I took my brush, the same blending brush that I used on the rest of the eye, and just kind of blended it out. That way it's not so like, whoa, Nelly, what is on the middle of your eye? You're looking like a creeper. Then I took that deeper color again and put that underneath to make it kind of nice and smoky and smudged out under there. Um, I really like it when it kind of goes down a little bit lower and just looks really kind of like, ooh, yes. Then I take my Cover FX Perfect Pencil and put that in my waterline to brighten up. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my favorite mascara, which is my Lancome Hypnos Drama and the Seals Booster XL, which I just, I don't know, you guys know I'm obsessed. I use it all the time. It's just so good. And I've been using a new lash, I'm gonna say this for the list, lash growth serum, and I think it's actually making a difference. So that's exciting. So now I'm just gonna be applying the black so that you can, can you guys tell a difference? I really do feel like my lashes are looking a little bit better than they usually do. I'm pretty excited about the situation because you guys know I can't wear false lashes. And so if I can have better lashes, you guys know I'm a fan of lash growth serums, but I'm trying something new. Next, we're moving on to this ColourPop Lip Pencil. This is also new for their spring collection. I don't have the color with me, but I will leave it linked down below so that you guys know exactly what I used. But it's just this really soft, like, pink. It's pink, but it's not too pink, if that makes sense. It's just a really nice, pretty, soft, spring pink. And then I'm going in with this Ultra Satin Lip. Again, I don't know the color, but it will be linked down below. Um, and it's just a really pretty kind of like peachy nude, which is really nice. I do have to say though, it was looking a little bit um, crusty after I applied this product. <laughs> this was a highlight from ColourPop and it was like a super sharp cheek color. Again, it will be listed down below. So I was like, you know what? I want to have a little bit of a glow because it was an ultra satin lip. And so I put it in and then it just like fell into all my cracks on my lips and looked kind of cruddy. So I don't recommend doing that part. I would skip that part and just go straight to the gloss because I'm all about glossy lips right now, so I ended up using um, a color from Buxom. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like Catrice or something like that, but it's really beautiful. Then I'm just blending out my fake powder to make sure that I don't walk around looking like a creeper with bright lines on my face. And then I go back in with my brush that I apply my Giorgio Armani. I don't get any extra product, but I just kind of like blend everything out to make sure it's just all kind of like looking fresh. And then I also go back in with my blush brush. I don't pick up any more product, but I just kind of like blend everything to make sure that my blush didn't get powdery um, even more so than it is. And then I go back and add more highlight with a fan brush because then it just makes it pop really majorly. I'm using the same Estee Edit highlight there, but can you see how it just made an extra sheen on my cheeks? And it just looks like ding. Then I took that highlighter from ColourPop, which is the Super Shock Cheek. Um, from their spring collection and I added it to my bones to make me look more bony because I'm I'm dieting right now but you know it's slow so if you need a little bit of extra like oh wow she's really been eating kale just add a little highlight to your bones and you'll look skinnier than you actually are too bad I can't add that to my fat pouch on my stomach um, okay yeah I'm just showing off my glow there you go hey how you like it 
And next, oh, I love this stuff. This is the Vichy Aqua Thermal Spray. And this is what I've been setting my makeup with. I just feel like it's so natural and it's so refreshing and it really does bring out the glow. It's beautiful, I love it so much. Just give it a good waft. There we go guys, we're done. Oh, I did this whole voiceover without barely having to like retake it, which never happens for me. So you can see how that sh that shadow just adds like a really pretty glow. It's so beautiful, I love it. And now you can go over and watch Jay's voiceover on The Sherman Show and we'll see what the difference is.